Today through this video, I am going to explain you that how a lamp can be turned on and off through a sensor. Like here you can see I have a lamp. This lamp works on AC power supply. But the sensor I have, this sensor works on DC power supply. So if you have AC load and you have to turn on this through DC power supply, then in between you need to use a relay. This relay which I am using here, this relay is SSR. Full form of SSR is solid state relay. I am telling some things about this SSR which are important for you to learn. First point is there are no moving object in this SSR. Like you have seen in contactor and relay, there is a contact which moves or turns on and off. But in this relay, there are no such moving objects. Completely a electronic circuit is used inside this. Second important point is when we turn on and off SSR, then no noise of any kind is generated. Like you have seen in the contactor, when we turn on contactor, knocking sound comes. But in this relay, when using this relay, there is no knocking sound or any kind of switching sound. After this, third point is, fast switching of relay can be done. Compared to normal relay, switching of this relay is very fast. So this lamp here, to turn on and off circuit of this lamp, this relay will be used. So how to do connection, let's understand. First of all, what we have to do, whatever the phase supply and neutral supply is there, bring that and connect with MCB. I connected phase supply and neutral supply with this. Now in this MCB with phase terminal, connect one wire and in solid state relay with one number terminal, connect this wire. We will get output of this terminal at this point. So connect one wire from here and provide phase supply to lamp directly. To operate this lamp, we have to provide neutral power supply also. So from neutral supply, connect one wire and connect this with lamp directly. You can see how connection is done here. So for now, to turn on only this lamp, we did the connection. Now we have to turn on the lamp through the sensor. So how to do connection of this sensor, let's understand this also. Whenever you go for connection of sensor, then before connection, details written on sensor must be considered first. Like here you can see it is written NPN NO. This means from this sensor, output signal we get will be negative one. So how I come to know that output signal is of negative power supply? Look, here NPN which is written, NPN means in output we will get negative signal. If here PNP is written, then we would have said output signal is positive. Now besides, one more thing we have to see, sensor which we are using, that sensor is NO or NC. Like this sensor here is NO sensor. As I told you, this sensor works on DC power supply. But here I have AC power supply completely. So here I have to convert AC power supply into DC. And we all know, if we want to convert AC power supply into DC power supply, then we have to use SMPS. Full form of SMPS is switched mode power supply. To this SMPS, first of all we have to provide phase supply and neutral supply. So what I will do, taking phase supply from here and with phase terminal of SMPS, like here you can see L is written. It means at first terminal we have to provide phase supply. At second terminal N is written. It means with second terminal we have to connect neutral power supply. After this you can see here earthing symbol is there. It means this SMPS has a body and we have to do earthing of this body. If you don't do the earthing then current flows in the body and you may encounter with an electric shock. Whenever you go for connection of SMPS do the earthing connection also. For connection with earthing what I will do from earthing terminal connect one wire and connect this wire directly with earthing. So to this SMPS I provided AC power supply. Now this SMPS will provide DC power supply in output. We will get DC supply at V minus and V positive terminals. From minus terminal we will get negative power supply and from plus terminal we will get positive power supply. First of all what I will do connect one wire from minus terminal and in this sensor with blue wire I am connecting this wire. There is a color coding of wire of sensor. Like to blue wire of sensor we have to provide negative power supply. To brown wire we have to provide positive power supply. For this what I will do, from positive terminal of SMPS, connect a wire and with brown wire of sensor, I am connecting this. Now through this black wire, we will get output signal. So with this wire, I am connecting a wire and with negative terminal of SSR, like here you can see minus symbol is there. So at this terminal, we have to connect negative power supply. So I connected output signal here. If your sensor is of PNP type, 
then in this condition what you have to do this output power supply is going to be connected with positive terminal. PNP means you will get positive power supply in output and NPN means you will get negative power supply in output. So you have to do the connection according to the power supply. So I connected this wire with negative terminal. Now with this positive terminal we have to connect positive power supply. For this I am looping a wire from here and providing positive power supply to this. So through this DC sensor to turn on and off AC load whole connection is completed. Now how this whole circuit diagram works let's understand. To turn on this lamp what we have to do turn on this MCB. When MCB is turned on this lamp will get neutral power supply. But this lamp won't get phase supply because in between we connected the relay. If we want to provide phase supply to lamp then in this condition we have to turn on this relay. For turning on relay we need to operate this sensor. Now when a target comes in front of sensor I mean whatever object is brought near then instantly sensor will detect the object and after detecting it will generate output signal. Now output signal will go to negative terminal of relay it means this relay got the negative power supply. We already connected positive power supply so in this condition relay will start operating and when this get operated lamp will turn on. So as per the circuit diagram when a target comes in front of sensor lamp will turn on and when target is removed from here then in this condition lamp will turn off. I hope you understood this connection properly. If you still have any kind of doubt then you can ask me questions by commenting in comment box. I will provide the answer of your question. Friends if you want to know how to connect flasher relay with motor starter then click on the right hand side video to watch.